successful comes with, with sacrifice. Right, right now, I would say my, 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 my life is somewhat my job. Uh, I have a vision where I want to be, and once I make up my mind, uh, I'm not going to stop until I get there. I, I think if I, ha if I didn't have a vision, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, this, like this business. Like to me, drywall is boring. I could never just do drywall every day. I think I would go crazy. Just looking at flat walls every day. I'd have, I would have to be creative with it. Like the restaurant we did with the, with the reclaimed wood, when I saw that stuff up, I'm texting my guys, send me, please send me pictures. I could be out to dinner or, or whatever in bed and I, 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 I want to I I see it. I need to see, I need to see it now. And, then, and when I see it, I can't wait to put it on social media. I, I think I'm, I'm more excited than, than the owners. Look at your freaking kitchen, it's awesome. I was a commodities trader for 16 years. I had my own business on the trading floor. Bullish on the coffee market. Uh, I had a vision for the market, the same way I do for my business right now. I was, I was up here. And then it came to fruitation. I made $3 million in four months at, at 34 years old. I, I basically proceeded to give it all back. Uh, that crushed me. I, I really learned at that point about self-coaching. And I try to instill that in my children. Self-coaching is huge. It, there's nothing that can stop you in this world. So I actually had to you know, pick myself up from that. Um, you know, it's not like I took a month off and said, I'm not going to work. I had to go to work the very next day and literally just walk into that pit. And they, everybody in the pit knew it. Uh, I had to walk back into that put, pit and, and, and put my pride aside and, and, and move on. Uh, electronic trading came into play. I got sick of staying home. I was going to the gym every day. I got myself in great shape. And I had some guys that I, I knew that were already in the construction business. And they would say, hey, Jared, you're, you know, you're a strong guy. You know, why don't, you know, you're a rugged dude. Why, why don't you come work you know, with us? For some reason, I, I guess I was destined to be a, a burly guy with a beard <laughs> living in New Jersey. Guys just, that I was working with just started calling me Diablo from the devil tattoo I have on the back of my neck. In Spanish, the, the Diablo means devil. My company's Diablo Construction. We do custom renovations. And I say custom because we're a little bit different than everybody else. We had a big design aspect into every job. What we try to do is really inspire people to step out of the box. Whether it's the paint color, tile selections, any type of reclaimed wood, or, or even sometimes a reclaimed corrugated roofing. And then they see it, they're like, wow, I, I would never imagine, I would never even think that I would like this. And that's really tremendous. Sometimes guys call me boss. I, I, I tend not to think of myself as the boss, I'd rather be a leader. It's very, it's very important to treat my crew as a family. A leader leads by example, and, and uh, I try to do that with my guys. When you have a team and everybody works together, it, it, it's, it's, it's so much better. M most people don't think that I'm a designer, uh, I guess by the way I look. Because most people do judge a book by its cover. But in this case, don't judge a book by its cover, because I'm the last guy that you think's gonna be picking out chandeliers with your wife.